yeah uh, hello friends so today in this video we will see about uh, the can transport uh, layer and uh, how the multi frame uh, request is being processed okay so um, we will just go through the first single uh, frame request and response and then we will go to the multi uh, frame request and response so at the end of the uh, session we will be able to understand the this um, table actually which will say about um, the single frame uh, first frame consecutive frame and the flow control how it is being um, how that uh, frame actually being sent and when it is being sent okay so um, uh, to start with um, as we see in the last lecture that um, oh, we have a complete uh, can um, frame and uh, there will be a different uh, section in that first the arbitration uh, field then control field and data field so uh, in the data field uh, actually the uds will come into the picture and um, the actually like uh, it is a raw data so we will be um, sending the uds into the data part so let's consider the uh, first single frame request and response we will take an example for the request for an extended session over here so um, uh, the let's this is the message uh, request format there are three bytes um, we can see so first byte is uh, 0 2 uh, second byte is 10 and third byte is 0 3 so here 10 indicate the session control um, service id so that is the service id for the session control and uh, 0 3 indicate uh, the extended session so here uh, this is basically a sub function here also we can see this is the sub function so it has a different sub function there for the default session programming session and extended session so it's start with 0 1 0 2 and uh, 0 3 so as we are um, targeting for the extended session this is the 0 3 over here and uh, so now uh, coming back to the first byte which will be uh, actually a PCI protocol control uh, byte actually um, so here uh, we will be um, it has a two separation that is the first nibble and the second nibble so first nibble uh, indicates the single frame request which is zero and the second nibble uh, will indicate the actual length so in this case our length is of two bytes so we will start with the not will not consider this first byte into the length the second and third byte will be considered for the length okay uh, so length will be of 0 2 that's why we can see over 0 2 and now uh, come back to the uh, response part where uh, we always see that uh, the 40 uh, hex value will be added to the um, in the response side um, so the here service id is uh, basically a 10 so if we add 40 uh, to the 10 it will come to the 50 so uh, this is the hex 50 uh, will come to the picture uh, in case of positive response we will not talk about the negative response um, uh, code at the moment so this is the uh, 50 for the positive response again the, the sub function uh, byte will remain same as 0 3 and uh, then will be the actual response data bytes so here in this case um, for the session control we will be having the uh, different like p2 and p2 serve p2 star server timing uh, which will be uh, sent in the response so here we have a four byte in response uh, so first two byte is for the p2 server time and uh, the second two byte is for the p2 star server timing so in detail we will not talk about what is the p2 and p2 star in this uh, video we will talk about somewhere in the next video uh, so uh, now all uh, we have a, um, a four byte plus one byte for the sid and one byte for the sub function so total four plus two is equal to six so as we have the response byte which is which can fit into the single frame request response as well so here also we will just first indicate zero where uh, zero indicate uh, the uh, first uh, like it is a single frame uh, response and 0, 6, 0, 6 indicate the risk or length so if we see about the same thing it will be like if, if you um, see in the uh, <clears throat> like any of the wikipedia page or somewhere else so you will see this table uh, which will 
be the same so as we talk about for bit number 4 to 7 will indicate the 0 and uh, the SF data length which is bit number 0 to 3 will indicate the length so uh, this is the way uh, which we will process the single frame request and a response um, in case of UDS so let's consider one more um, uh, single frame uh, request and response where we will not be having any sub function so um, we have taken an example of um, um, read data by identifier in our case uh, so um, you can see over the service id is uh, 22 mm, so 22 is the service id for the read data by identifier and we have taken an example uh, for the did as an f200 so this is just a dummy did which we have taken into uh, taken for this example however it may vary according to your case so um, again uh, this is the uh, we have now three bytes instead of two bytes in the previous example so uh, again uh, this will be uh, this can be fit into the single frame request so that's why we have a zero as in first nibble which is bit four to seven and with the, the bit 0 to 3 we have a length okay so there could be a case where uh, actually we can write something over 8 or 9 but that is that will not be uh, possible that is an error condition because in a single frame request we we will not uh, that will not be a possible so maximum we it is uh, uh, possible to have is to have a 7 value in this okay because um, the first byte we will not be considering as in length and the next byte onwards we can consider so here we should have a 3 as in uh, first bit so we will talk about such negative test cases in some other video where we have a problem with the length and then we will get some nrc code for that okay so as um, this video we are just talking about the positive response and um, uh, how the response is being processed so let's consider the uh, same uh, example where we will we will get a response as in positive response so again uh, 22 is the service id and if we take uh, the positive response we will add 40 to it um, so 22 plus 42 uh, 40 is um, 62 and um, here again we will have the same did as it is at the next byte and um, then we will be having the three data bytes so it may vary um, according to your DID. So let's consider this is the data byte which is linked with this DID as a three byte. It may be one byte, it may be two byte, it may have the multiple data bytes as well. But let's consider three data bytes which is um, linked with this DID. So three byte plus three byte, uh, two byte of um, uh, DID and one byte of SID. So which will be a total of six byte in a response. So again, the response which uh, can be fit into single frame response so that's why we have a zero over here and a six is the length so because we have a six data uh, six, uh, six other uh, bytes in the response so these both are example of a single frame request and a response okay and um, so i hope you understood um, the uh, request and response format for this and um, so if you see like um, uh, there will be a there will be a always a question why it is a 40 will be added to um, as to when we are going to make a uh, uh, given positive response so there will be a bit number six which will be um, we will be toggling so that's why um, we will be having um, uh, 40 uh, as an addition to the um, in response byte okay so um, i hope like we can we are clear with the single uh, uh, sing, uh, like single frame uh, request and response format now let's move to the multi frame uh, request and response format